There we go. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the JK Racing channel. So, no one really said anything about the Jet Heat content yet because we just posted the video all of uh, 12 hours ago, not even. But I'm going to go with it anyway because it's still a power sport, it's still a two stroke, and it's still going to need a rebuild. So, let's jump into the video. How's it going guys? So here's my 1995 Wave Raider 1100 triple. I'm a big Yamaha guy. Love the Yamaha jet skis. But AJ got me into buying a Kawasaki 650 SX stand up. I love the hell out of that thing. It's mint. But we're going back to the Yamaha because it's just blue crew or nothing for me really. And so here we go. I had a VXR Pro last summer, which was a 701. Thing was clean. It ran mint. But couldn't really fit two people on it. it was really like a pencil kind of. So kind of going up to a bigger jet ski now. So this is my Wave Raider 1100. Like I said, going to see this on the channel more next year when I'm ripping it. Definitely get some footage with the GoPro on this thing. Um, but yeah, so basically I picked this up this past weekend. And it couldn't get to start at the place that I bought it. Which is kind of like, yeah, whatever. You know, it's like, uh, it sounded like it had compression. I didn't bother to check because I usually don't care. Brought it back home. Of course, the minute I got it back home, does it start right off by itself after sitting since 2011. And sure enough, uh, it starts up, runs kind of okay. Definitely hear like a knocking noise, like a da -da 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 -da, you know, noise right here in the cylinder. So probably some piston slack. And uh, so, yeah, we're definitely going to do a rebuild on this thing. I mean, the, the compression's still pretty good in all three. But uh, yeah, it's only like 100 really. So I'm going to really just rebuild all three of them. Go back through it it's only a couple hundred bucks to redo really it all so we'll get her going and get it going for the winter so yeah gonna start a new feed on this and post some good videos in the next couple months here right in time for snow so here we go so i'm just gonna kind of make an update videos because i don't have my GoPro with me and this is the easiest way to do it so right now we just got the uh, air box bolts off and now we're working on getting the head stuff out because uh yeah gotta get into these cylinders here so we're gonna get these off and yeah be back in a minute all right guys so we're back another day now same video different day um didn't really forgot to kind of record some stuff just pulled the exhaust off we're kind of just getting to the uh cylinders here because there's definitely a good amount of uh slack in the pistons you can see it like that's not good no so we're getting these off because we're going to see if i need to actually like bore them out or if i can just buy new pistons or whatever um they got the exhaust off pretty easy pop the clamp off on this end because there's like four bolts up here i literally didn't unhook anything just up here um we got these off one trick that my friend matt taught me from doing his last year on this his Ra raider is when you pull off this uh exhaust manifold start over here on this end towards the back of the jet ski because then when you get up here you won't be able to get stuff off as you go that way so way smarter start from here to there you know and uh yeah so we're almost got these off and then really all that's left and there's like two four six eight bolts here you know hold the cylinders up. and then there's one up here that you might forget because it's kind of in a weird spot and you pop that off and then your uh cylinder should come off so we're gonna get these off and uh yeah we we'll get an update then all right guys so we got the hat off it was kind of a pain in the ass because the gaskets were really stuck so j and k tip number i don't know something take a board and you just kind of pry against your carb like diaphragms and everything just go boop and it popped it right off so and don't worry about the and these are they're junky anyway so definitely can see some scoring here on the uh piston so yeah probably the one that was making all the noise when i first got it going see this side's not bad but um other than that i mean i don't see metal in the bottom end so that's a good thing so it's probably just the top end so yeah, but we got this off and had the chain on there too. But yeah, like the inside of the walls really aren't that bad, you know. But I'm gonna give them to uh, Travis to check out with the um, four gauge and stuff like that. Make sure everything all is how it should be. Make sure this guy actually built it correctly because he might have just put new pistons in it and then left this stock or whatever it was. So I don't know. So we're gonna have him check it out and we'll see. But that's pretty much gonna be the end of the video for today. Um, but yeah, that's how we do it. It's pretty simple. 
you can see, I mean, just a shit ton of bolts, really. I mean, I just trying to label and bag everything because it's just easier to put everything back together because I don't know how long I'm going to take to put this back together. But yeah, this is the part one video of the, uh, the Raider. Second Raider on the channel now, but the first one we're actually recording. So, but yeah, so next thing is to check it out and I will give an update video on what I'm actually going to do, whether I'm going to rebuild it, but just buy new rings, buy new pistons, whatever. So, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Thanks for checking us out. You know, if you want to subscribe, feel free. If you don't, whatever, it doesn't matter. So, but yeah, thanks for checking us out and uh, have a good one.